The Liberals' first 100 days in office. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. In case you haven't heard, Justin Trudeau's Liberals are celebrating 100 days in office since the big swearing in ceremony. There have been endless media stories about how awesome this is, highlighting their achievements. Funny, I don't recall this when Stephen Harper had been Prime Minister for 100 days. In fact, back then, it was really just a few mentions, mostly about how there's going to be an election any day now. His minority will be defeated. That's another story, though. Story about the media party. But while the Liberals and the media party focus on how super awesome the Liberals are, they brought back the long-form census, you know. Everything is so cool now. Well, they can have that party. They can celebrate that. Me? I want to focus on something else. I want to talk to you about what is driving this government. See, there's a tendency among conservatives in this country to simply dismiss Trudeau as an idiot and what he does as incompetence. And that is the wrong move. That idiot and the idiots around him, they won the election last fall. That should tell us something. I've always said that while Justin may not be the intellectual that Pierre was, the man's not dumb. And so we need to stop dismissing his ideas, his policy actions as being stupid, realize that they're not the actions of someone who doesn't know what he's doing, but they're the actions of someone who knows what he's doing, someone with a particular worldview. Justin Trudeau and his team know exactly what they're doing. Uh, they might be wrong, they may be, may be making mistakes, we can disagree with them, but they're not blindly failing about as they're moving at quick pace to remake Canada in their own image, and their idea of Canada, let me tell you, differs from yours. When Trudeau sent out Environment Minister Catherine McKenna and Natural Resources Minister James Carr to put up roadblocks to pipelines being built, it's not that they don't understand this is going to cause problems or slow down pipelines. They're acting on their core beliefs, stated so clearly by Gerald Butts before he entered the political world. Truth be told, we don't think there ought to be a carbon-based energy industry by the middle of this century. That's our policy in Canada, and it's our policy all over the world. The real alternative is not an alternative route, it's an alternative economy. That right there, that is what liberals think. This is their world view. You can hear it now as minister after minister talks about Canada moving to a low carbon economy. They want us out of the oil industry, something Butts and McKenna's chief of staff signed on to when they led environmental groups. Well, that world view now informs government policy. It's not stupidity, it's world view. One of the things the liberals are bragging about beyond the return of the long-form census. Yeah, major accomplishment there, guys. Well, they're bragging that Canada's back on the world stage. They even broke out the champagne for a visit by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. The reality is Canada never left the world stage. Canada was, in fact, a major player during the years that the Harper Conservatives were in power. It's just that they had a different outlook. Under Harper, Canada was still a participant at the UN, major donor to the UN World Food Program, second only to the US in resettling United Nations refugees. But Harper's foreign policy put more emphasis on the G7, the G20, NATO. Those were our multilateral institutions. Trudeau wants Canada to cozy up to the UN because he believes in global governance in a way that Harper does not. It is an incompetence, it's world view. You can run through the whole gamut of their policies. Tax the rich, hey, it doesn't work. You can show them the facts, but it fits with their world view. Pulling our jets home and stop stopping the bombing of ISIS? Well, they admit it's not about the money. It's just that they didn't like what our jets were doing. It comes down to world view. Justin Trudeau holds all the correct progressive positions today. But if you have fond memories of the old progressive conservative party, let me tell you, progressive it means something different. He is not your father's kind of progressive. He's a new generation of progressive, the same kind we see on campuses across North America, the kind fighting for safe spaces and against free speech. Justin Trudeau is a far left progressive, and that's what's driven his first 100 days in office. Not incompetence, not a lack of brains, but his worldview. And we would do better to understand that worldview so that we can counter it rather than dismissing the prime minister and his team as fools. Thank <laughs> you.